Okay, here's another fractional equation to solve. So, <clears throat> first thing you're going to do is find the common denominator. Then you're going to multiply each part by the common denominator. What that does is allows you to cancel out the whole denominator of every fraction. And then you have a nice, easy problem to solve. Well, maybe not that easy. But this one's a little bit tricky. Let's do some parentheses. All right, parentheses, I like parentheses, you know that. Okay, common denominator. All right, I have a three minus x, I have x plus three, I have x squared minus nine. Should I just use all of those? No, let's factor so that we can make sure we get the least common denominator. All right, x minus three, x plus three. Oh, that is x plus three, so x minus three would work on that one. Hmm, I need x minus 3, that's 3 minus x. Remember the little trick we learned the other day? I can rewrite that as x minus 3 by multiplying it by minus 1. But that means I need to use another minus 1 up top, so we'll just put a minus 1 up there. So, when I multiply, so my LCD is going to be x minus 3 and x plus 3. And I'm going to multiply that times each fraction. And that is going to allow me to reduce a lot of stuff. So let's start out. X minus 3. X plus 3. Times negative 1 over X plus 3. All over X minus 3. Plus... I'm going to do x minus 3, x plus 3 again, times the next fraction, which is 11x plus 3 over x minus 3. Remember, I factored that, x plus 3 equals one more to do. All right, x minus 3, x plus 3 times 1 minus 5x all over x plus 3. Whoa, we got all of that? Okay, there we go. All right, the fun part, reducing stuff out so we have no fractions left. Both of those, this one, that one. All right, tricky doing the multiplying, but what have I got here? All right, <clears throat> Let's keep the minus 1 for a second. x plus 3 times x plus 3 is x squared plus 6x plus 9. But when I put a minus 1 in front of all of them, all right, first fraction done. Plus, all of that canceled out, so we have 11x plus 3 equals... Isn't this cool how we get rid of the whole fraction just by doing that nice multiplying step? It looks pretty lengthy. It really shortens up. All right, so x times 1 is x. x times 5x minus 5x minus 3 plus 15x. I got something wrong there. Who knows? Let's do it again. x times 1, x. x times 5x. 5x squared. Keep an eye on things. All right, let's add like terms on both sides. So here we have, let's, let's, let's do the 5 first. Minus 5x squared. And we'll do the x terms. Plus 16x minus 3. That looks right. All right, let's do like terms on this side. We'll do the x squared first. We got minus x squared. Let's see, minus 6x plus 11. What do we get with that? How about 5x? Sound right? And then minus 9 plus 6, minus 6. And here's our equal sign. All right, <clears throat> let's get everything on one side. So let's add 5x squared. 5x squared. Let's subtract 16x, subtract 16x, add 3, add 3. So now, when I do that, the cool reason is I want that side equal to 0. Then I can factor what's left. What do we got left here? 
we have 4x squared minus 11x minus 3. And that's what I have to factor. So can we factor that? I hope you can see the factors of that. I'll get a new paper up here so we can factor that. All right, so when we factor that, we get, well, we could use 4x and 1x, or we could use 2x and 2x. Got to educate a guess here. 11 in the middle, I'm going with the 4. 4, and let's put the 3 here and the 1 here. 3 times 4 is 12. Do I want the middle to be positive or negative? Biggest number, negative. Let's make it minus there, plus there. Didn't need that one. So when I solve this, I get 4x plus 1 equals 0. x equals negative 1 fourth. x equals 3 for that one. All right, those are the two answers. Do they both work? What do I do? How do I figure it out? I go back to the very beginning and test those answers. Are there any answers that would give me a zero? 3 squared is 9 minus 9. That one can't work. A fourth, that won't, that'll make it positive. A fourth here, okay. A fourth squared, um, <clears throat> a sixteenth minus 9. So the fourth is okay. So the, remember, test your answers. Sometimes you get one that gives you a zero in the bottom. Fraction